Good evening, everyone. Time for another member update. Now, this is the one hour chart of silver provided by netdania.com. You can click on the link below. And you can see here that we got the sell off that we, look, we were looking for. Very, very large move. Definitely. You can see that uh, it, it had tested before getting below this line. It had rallied and then it had a tremendous drop off. This was the Fed sell off. You can see 1.2 million contracts. We came up against that again. We're talking billions of ounces of fake silver. So the big question is going to be, and we've seen this before as I posted in the member chat, we've seen weekend buying opportunities. So the big question is going to be, is it time to pull the trigger on a buying opportunity? Now, from this chart, I've shown you before, and let's go out to the daily so we can look at it again. I've shown you before that the buying opportunities always come on these spike lows. Is this one of those spike lows? Most definitely not. So you can see the rounding off effect going on there. It is going lower, barring some type of completely unforeseen circumstance, such as world war or some huge news item. It's my opinion that this has not found a bottom yet. The bottom always is on the largest volume spike, and you can see we had that volume spike and then continual selling. So where are we going to go and when is it going to be time to buy? Well, 15 was the target that I picked and 15 seems to be the number we're looking for. You have to remember that the main support has already been established in this area here. So you can see the, the amount of trading that's gone on in this price range. Let's draw the upper trend line or the upper line roughly of this area, this congestion area, and the lower trend line of the same congestion area. This is the congestion area between 16 and 18, uh, uh, 19 really. 16 and 19, there's been a lot of activity. Now, the other top, this is the Bear Stearns top, was there around 15 and we actually got a spike below that here before we got the huge run-up. Um, so you can see the comparative volumes here that the Boston bombing sell-off was the greatest in volume. 45 million contracts. I don't even want to think about how many billions of ounces of paper silver that it took to do that. But here's the current spike. You can see it's second only to that one. How much larger will it get? How big will the spike down be? Well, you can see the size of this one, the size of this one. So I have not pulled the trigger yet. And that's mainly because of this formation. I'm just not seeing that bottoming yet that I'm looking for. Normally, I can't really put it in a rational way but for me I've always kind of known back in 2008 we didn't really have a spike uh, like we've had in the past we actually had a number of days I pulled the trigger at 850 and that was around 5 a.m. We very well could repeat that. We could get a massive spike low, say Monday morning. So if you have something that you really want to buy, you have plenty of time to consider it over the weekend. And if you're like me and you really want to get the best deals, then you probably want to get up at about 2 or 3 a.m., Monday morning, Sunday evening, and watch the action in the in the one minute chart. There's going to be some serious action coming out of Asia. And we know that Atmex, so let's go over to Atmex. 
because we want to look at what we're interested in buying. Now, before we go through the buys here, I want to show you something that's really important for me because this is a confirmation of what I've said for a very long time. You know that I believe that the best value for your money is going to be the cheapest Lunar Series 2 out of the Perth Mint. I've covered the reasons. There are so many reasons I can't even cover them, but most of you know what those reasons are. Now, this is very important because this is the first time where I've actually seen the buy price come in and Atmex offer something that they sold to me and have a buy price that's high. So you can see here, this is the 2010 one half ounce Australian Year of the Tiger coin series two. This is a coin that I purchased. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you the screen cap. But before I do that, I wanna show you, here is what Atmex is offering to buy this coin back at. There's an Atmex buy price of $45. That's $90 an ounce. So Atmex is offering. They're not uh, selling. It's, it's not available. It's an alert me. But Atmex, it's out of stock, but Atmex is willing to buy it back. They are willing to buy it from me for $45 a coin. Now this is a screenshot. Um, I think I lost that. This is a screen cap of my Atmex account. Try to get it large enough for you to see here. And it's not coming in. But you can see that uh, back in 2010, I purchased this coin. The 2010 Year of the Tiger, one half ounce silver coin. The spot price of silver at that time, and I didn't buy a lot of these, I blanked out the quantity, so you won't know, but I didn't buy a lot of these, but I bought some of these. When the spot price was 1563, which by the way is not too far from where we are right now, I paid $12.56 a coin for this half ounce tiger just because I believed in the coin so much. So you can see that I actually paid $25 an ounce for silver. I paid nine something plus dollars over spot for this coin back at that time. But you can see now that Atmex is offering more than three times the amount of money that I paid for that coin. So, of course, on the YouTube channel and on other sites, um, you're hearing the crying from the, the paper longs. I think most of the people that are crying right now are paper longs. I'm absolutely delighted today to see this, that Atmex is willing to pay me more than three times the amount of money that, that I paid them for this exact coin. And... I'm not selling it back to them, of course, but that just confirms to me the value of it. This is the first time I've seen where a coin that I have purchased, I'm not judging it based upon Atmex offer uh, to sell, but actually their, their bid to buy. Um, so that's a confirmation for me, a very important confirmation for me that this is a profitable strategy. Again, I have no intention of selling it to them, but that confirms to me the worth. So let's go ahead and look at these coins. We wanna look at the Lunar Series because I, I, I think that this pattern is going to repeat itself. I think the Lunar Series is, is going to be another phenomenal winner again in the future. So what I always do with any of these coins, and we're gonna do it with the Lunar Series here, is I always set it to price low to high, 80 per page, and of course you're gonna get the holders first, but we wanna scroll from the lowest price possible and see what's offered. So you can see we're looking now at the GOAT Series, 
and the hundred or more price is twelve dollars and seventy three cents is this goat series going to do what the tiger series half ounce did probably not i don't think so not a big fan of this coin it's okay i suppose um I'll go ahead and list these in order of my preference. I would, my guess would be, for this weekend's buying or for the spike low buying Monday morning, I would list this one probably fifth. The ones I'm looking at. Next here is the half ounce horse. Now I've already bought a number of these at not much higher of a price than this. This price seems to be sticking. Um, with the drop that we had, this should be in the 12s, but it's not. It's it's in the $13, $13 a half ounce. So we're talking about $27 an ounce on this coin. We're talking about $10 above spot. So, but again, remembering the half ounce Tiger, and I paid nearly $10 above spot on that coin and tripled my money. So that doesn't necessarily mean anything. So um, this horse, the half ounce horse, is going to be pretty high up on the list. Next thing we have is this colorized horse. Well, let's see how many are there. 426. I've recommended colorized ones when they were super cheap. But really, for me, I think that most silver stackers aren't too much interested in colorized coins. And so I don't see much of a premium there for the coin. Now, this is a coin that I've stacked a ton of, the half ounce dragon. There's only 48 of those left. And uh, there isn't a buy price, but I'm really big on this coin. I think when it's completely gone, you'll see a buy price. And I had been purchasing this coin all the way through the year. The highest I paid for this coin was about $22 for the half ounce. And I think that I act, the lowest I got was actually 12 something for this coin. So great coin. I'm very happy with it. And again, as I pointed out in a video a couple days back, the half ounce and the two ounce of the Perth Mint Lunar Series do not have a dedicated number of mintage. They're minted on demand. Now, when these 48 are gone from Atmex, Atmex cannot go back to the Perth Mint and say, mint some more, we need more of these, because they're not minting them anymore. Whereas if it was the one ounce and they had not fulfilled the allotment of, I believe it's 300,000, then yes, they could mint more. So when that's gone, it's gone. Now we've got the Snake Series. This was actually one that I had ordered uh, when it was down around 12 bucks, I think there's only two left. And Atmex actually sent me the wrong coin. They sent me the half ounce dragon, and the snake was lower priced. And I made up the difference. I didn't want to ship them back, but I made the wrong decision on that one. I should have taken the snake. So I don't have any of the half ounce snakes, I have a ton of the half ounce dragons now here is the one ounce goat and you can see that's at $28 so that's not going to be a really good deal and then we pretty much fade out from there until we get to the two ounce you can see that the the one ounce horse here they have 47 left it's about 37 bucks I did order a roll of those at about 36 but the price really hasn't come down significantly. Now, that's a half ounce proof. We want to look for that uh, two ounce horse because this is going to be the number one on my list. And I'm going to show you the reason why. So we're at, at the two ounce horse. And you can see they've got 297 of those left. And they're at $49.74 if you buy 50 or more. So we're talking about a silver price of about 25 bucks or so. So you're talking about seven, eight bucks above spot. But let me show you what happened to the two ounce 
dragon. And I think the same thing, even more so, is probably going to happen with that two ounce horse series. And let's get down to that. We'll skip over these here. There's the one ounce tiger. We're coming in at about 80 bucks. This is one. The tiger was one that I bought the heck out of because it was just a coin. When I looked at this coin, I said, that's it. That is, and uh, it's very important for me that China is actually, biblically, it is the tiger or the leopard. It is uh, that country on the rise. And uh, I bought as much as I could possibly carry that coin. But let's go down to the two ounce horse because I think that's going to be number one on the buy list here. I thought it was around 50 bucks, so I must have skipped it. Well, I think it was on the first page. Uh, they might have removed it. Let's go back to the first page. I think the two ounce was running around 49. So yeah, that's, as I said, that's going to be number one. Pretty tight buy price, not the greatest, but you can see the buy price, 4304. So this one is going to be the number one pick on the Lunar Series for me. This is going to be the coin that when I am ready to pull the trigger on this coin, or on silver, that this is going to be the coin I'm going to buy. So let's take a look at some of the Wildlife Series now, the Wildlife Series is my second, but because of the milk spots, it's become a big issue. Now, fortunately, the Wildlife Series that I've purchased in the past don't have the milk spots. I've never experienced the milk spots, but they're fairly commonly reported. A large number of people have seen the milk spots on these Canadian coins. That doesn't reduce the silver value in any way. That's just a surface thing, but it does reduce the numismatic value. So you can see here the lowest one when we go low to high here is the Canadian Wildlife Moose at about 22.16. So we're talking about 4.29 over spot. Not my most favorite coin, but it could be something you might want to grab. You can see there's 239 left. They're out of the pronghorn antelope, but they do have the bison. And you can see the bison's uh, 2286. That's from 2013. And you can see they've got 585 of those. The Cougar series is up around 25 bucks. And they've got 109 of those. But then we've got this 2011 one ounce grizzly at 2687 if they're still there after i post this video <laughs> on monday which i don't think they will be um this is going to be number two there's no question here i think that this coin is no question it's second behind the wolf series which is still around 60 bucks so i'm i'm fairly surprised that there are grizzlies there um, that's a fantastic coin. The buy price is about 22 bucks. I'd love to buy that coin for 22 bucks. So I fully expect that you guys are probably going to snap these up before I get a chance to snap them up when we get the spike low, which could go down maybe another buck. So those are the picks. Those are my favorites. The favorite of all is going to be the two ounce horse. The second is going to be the half ounce horse and the third if it's still available when i'm looking is going to be this 2011 grizzly um, you can check the other sites i have not found a lot of luck with gainesville and provident the main ones that i check are uh, atmax first gainesville coin second provident metals jm bullion which really doesn't have a lot anything perth modern coin mart and there's just a couple other stragglers that, uh, but the main ones are going to be Atmex and Gainesville. You need to check those. And 
So this is going to be something I am going to pick up if there are any left, if you guys don't pick them up first. So back to the chart. Um, there's no question in my mind that the bottom has not been set. Now, I could be wrong. I've been wrong in the past, but this is a falling flag formation. The spike low bottom, if, if it would have happened that it would have held something like this, and this spike low would have been in and it never been challenged and we would have had about that goes from about 1785 to we'll just say 18 bucks if that spike low would have held and we were rallying from here i would say the low is in by this weekend but because of this action afterwards i am waiting on dry powder to pull the trigger and it's probably going to be sometime in the middle of the morning, Sunday night, Monday morning, when you're going to need to pull the trigger on these deals. And we'll talk to you next time.